Hello, I'm John Walsh. The video you're about to see contains some very important and perhaps even startling information. Crime and You is presented as a public awareness program by Dynamark Security Centers. I urge you to pay close attention. During our lifetime, science has taken us to the moon and back, and now is reaching to the far edge of our solar systems and beyond. The collective genius of man has now accomplished what was once considered impossible. The field of medicine has completely eliminated many deadly diseases and offers treatments for others which greatly enhances and prolongs life. But today we have a new disease, illegal drugs. This new disease is even more frightening because it is spreading across America like an epidemic. It affects everyone, young and old, rich and poor, people in cities and rural communities. No one is immune. Drugs are largely responsible for the alarming increase in this nation's crime problem. Drug lords demand money. Drug users need cash and lots of it. From the hardcore addict with a $500 a day habit to the preteen who uses and deals crack cocaine. Where do the users get the money? They turn to crime. Usually simple residential burglary, of TVs, stereos, jewelry, and guns. Once these goods are stolen, they are turned into the cash needed to support the drug habit. The United States crime clock shows the statistics. There's a murder every 25 minutes, a rape every six minutes, and a burglary every 10 seconds. Even though burglary itself is classified by the FBI as a nonviolent crime, try telling that to the victims and the families of nearly three million people who were attacked by burglars over the last 10 years. But the crime clock shows only the statistics. Let's talk to some real people and get the story behind the numbers. No, you never think it's going to happen until obviously it does happen, but you know, you always think it's going to be the other fellow. We always felt uh, safe. We felt mm -hmm. safe until then. And one of the things about being burglarized is the fact that you know, long, you know not only lose something of value, but you feel that you've been, uh, that your home is your castle and you feel you've been violated by somebody coming in and just going through your things. The reason we felt so confident that nothing could have happened to us is we have a Doberman pincer. What we did when we left, while well, we had uh, uh, three light timers that we, we had set for three different zones in the hive, thinking that this would be enough to indicate that there was somebody home and lights on in, in the various rooms. If uh, a perpetrator is determined to get in, they'll find a way to get in, especially if there's no resistance. You could see evidence of where he had taken a screwdriver or something like that and, and you know, jumped a lot and just locked himself in. It wasn't the fact that it was valuable, but it was heirlooms and things that were irreplaceable. The pearl necklace was one of the first gifts I gave her when we were going together. And sentimentality is gone. It'll never be replaced. Uh, some of the things that my grandmother had given to me and oh, keepsakes. And so I just wanted to have them. They were not that valuable to someone else, perhaps, but they were valuable to me. Insurance company can pay me money, but it's, you know, to her, it's gone, and she'll never get it back again. We were not able to recover anything. I have mean, idea who may have done it. As far as I'm concerned, they're, they're common scum. If they meet with any kind of resistance, they're prepared to, to do battle, if you will. The thing that makes us mo most uncomfortable is the idea that somebody was in our house uh, without our permission. Uninvited. Yep, uninvited. And uh, it's that uncomfortable feeling that, you know, could it happen again? The worst thing is, is, to me, is that somebody is coming into your privacy and just taking at will what they want and you have no recourse. You feel really helpless. Now that the robbery has occurred, it's like the old saying, and after the horse is gone, well, you, you lock the barn door. And so now we have a security system. If you got a nice house, you better be prepared to protect it. None of these people planned on becoming victims. How do burglars select their victims? Let's find out. We're going to talk to some who actually got caught, were convicted, and are now serving time. Uh, well, I'm a drug addict. And uh, in order to support that, I kind of let a life of crime. Well, I had a drug habit. Just cocaine. I wound up spending the money that I was making working on drugs and consequently didn't have the money to pay bills and I went out and be in need for that. It's expensive. The amount that you shoot will run 
you'll shoot as much as you have. I say three hundred hours daily. Weekly, I might spend up to fifteen hundred. You know, it's not as if you're really doing anything to anyone. You're just trying to get some money and get away with it. You know, the thoughts not that. Well, I'm taking something that people worked five years to be able to afford. That's, that doesn't even enter into it. Most of the times I was high. I'd done, say I'd done a burglary on Monday, and the money was running out, say Tuesday. Then I would do another burglary. And then it's in and out quick. You don't have a, you know, you're not trying to move furniture. You're after valuables that you can carry with you real fast. Usually I just use a flat bar, a carpenter's flat bar. Sometimes a small crowbar. Um, sometimes just a sledgehammer. If I case the house out, and that's the particular house I want, don't let them stop me from going in. About 60% of the doors you can open with a credit card. Even if you've got to stick it in and then stick it back through, because they got the security locks, they call them. Well, they're not secure from the inside out. They're secure from the outside in. Uh, professionals, it's, you can pick the lock easily on about any home. I can open one just about as fast as you can with your key. I know I did over maybe five, six hundred burglaries. I might do three burglaries in one night in 20 minutes. Hundreds. Hundreds. Uh, we were taking guns, money, jewelry, television set, stereo equipment. My car was up under the gar carport at the time. The car was loaded down. I couldn't even clo close the trunk. Guns, you know, ha hanging out and everything else. You might steal, say, jewelry that people had paid thousands of dollars for. And you would give it to the dope man for uh, two bags of dope. It was about six people in the house. Three men, three females. So what I did, I went through the back door while they was in the front room watching videos or TV or something. And I took all three of their pocketbooks. And I went back out the back door. I didn't know the value of them because, and I didn't care about the value of it because it wasn't mine. It didn't cost me anything. Quite a few times I had done that when be able to man, old lady, sleep. Um, I got to the point I just stopped taking TVs and videos and things like that. I just started taking money, the wireless and pocketbooks. So I, a couple of times I went through the house and people were sleeping in bed. And I just took the pocketbook in his pants and rolled that out. I don't think dogs are very good, um, how do you say, to, to keep burglars away. I entered the house and uh, pursued what I was there for, and noticed that the dog was in the house, laying on the floor. But by me doing this so much, the dog didn't even hear me. So I went on and did what I had to do and came on out. It was the first time I ever gotten caught, you know, and, and I knew we were caught. But at that time, you know, the, the only thing in your mind is, is to get away, and get away by any, any means available to you. But under the circumstances, I was, you know, desperate. I hauled over to the guy that, that was with me as we were coming out, put the gun on him. If he moves, shoot him. You can kill somebody or you can be killed. Simple as that. At one time, I broke into a house. Uh, I took the, the glass out the window, and right in, unlocked the door, and when the door opened, the alarm went off. And, uh, it just, you know, needless to say, I was gone. <laughs> you know, you're not looking to make things complicated for yourself. Generally, alarms, unless, if it's on a home, you're not going to fool with it. I'm saying alarm systems is great to have on a home. Because there are tens of thousands of me out there. More so than, there's a lot more out there than there are in here. For every one they catch, there's 10,000 they don't catch. And with the drug problem like it is today, it's going to get progressively worse. Be alert for the unexpected. Protect yourself. There you have it, from the experts, the burglars themselves. They select homes at random. Locks can't stop them, dogs don't scare them, the police rarely catch them, the courts can't convict them, and the jails certainly can't hold them. 
They're back on the streets preying on innocent victims. But one thing they all agree on is how we can stop them. In a recent article in Consumer Reports, 600 convicts, when asked what is the most effective protection against burglary, stated a monitored burglar alarm. Insurance companies also agree, knowing that a security system means fewer claims. Most companies offer substantial premium discounts to homes with monitored systems. A recent study by the National Crime Prevention Institute showed that a home security system reduces the odds of a break-in by 600%. Police also agree on the effectiveness of a home security system. 92% of police chiefs surveyed recommended their use. I think you'll have to agree with me that today, in addition to our basic needs of food, clothing, and shelter, we must add security. We'll be right back. We at Dynamark Security Centers would like to thank you for watching this special presentation of Crime and You. Dynamark is dedicated to helping protect families like yours. Each Dynamark representative is specially trained to offer professional advice regarding your security needs. And that training continues to ensure your peace of mind. Dynamark is a unique franchise system that offers you the strength of a national organization and also offers the opportunity to do business with a local person. Dynamark has a reputation for providing superior products and outstanding service. That reputation has been further enhanced by our dedicated involvement with such programs as Priority One, the Emmy Award-winning safety program, Dynamark assists the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children with our program, Child Seekers, which was honored with a United States Senate Award. We at Dynamark are extremely proud of our involvement with Kids and Company, the National Center's new child safety program. It has been our pleasure to protect thousands of families just like yours from coast to coast. We can design a system to suit not only your security needs, but your budget as well. And each Dynamark system can be supported by DynaWatch, our modern computerized central station. DynaWatch will respond to all of your needs, burglary, panic, personal emergency, and of course the other intruder, fire. Finally, there is a smoke detector that calls the fire department. Dynamark is a dedicated company. We protect America, one family at a time. If any one thing could be learned from this program, it is that we are all vulnerable. None of the victims you've seen here ever considered that it would happen to them. I certainly never considered that my family would suffer the pain of becoming victims. That is why I urge you to take the next step. Find out more about Dynamark and their approach to affordable security.